Mmm. Ooh, dog. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Welcome back to another episode of Big Sticks, guys. Today it's Easter Sunday, and that means I get to rejoin the overarching population of folks in the United States and consume meat once more. The Lenten season is now over. And so to commemorate that, I plan on doing two things that I have not done on this channel before. One, I'm gonna make a standing rib roast otherwise known as a prime rib roast. However, like most normal folks, prime is just outside the price range and we'll be cooking a choice rib roast. And two, I'm gonna introduce you to a brand new cooker that I picked up here a couple weeks ago and it is from Grilla Grills and it's called the Chimp. It's the, the little one that you can supposedly take on the road with you and travel with, but I'm excited to use it because hey, it's the first time that I've used it. So let's get right on into this, folks. I'll see you here in just a second. So what we have here is just a simple two bone roast. Let's season it up. A little bit of olive oil. We'll definitely be going low and slow today in a manner that I generally cook this in an oven because essentially that's what pellet grills are. It's just an oven that uses wood pellets to fuel its flame. That looks good. Now, what I'll be using today is Pappy's Prime Rib Rub. This stuff is amazing, and it's especially good when you're working at low temperature. Don't be afraid to put this on liberally. It's a huge piece of meat. Very, very little is actually gonna pen penetrate the exterior, but it does add a nice little flavor around the edges. And it's not going to be overwhelming. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this hang out for a little bit, just about half an hour or so, allow this to Start getting tacky, and then we're gonna throw it on the smoker. First things first. Let's get some pellets in. So, the pellets that came with the grill. Let's fill this hopper up. Not too, too much. Oh, I'll overfill it, but enough that it should get through this cook. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Obviously, I've got the drip tray lined with foil. As you can see here, the RTD, um, internal temperature probe, came bent. There are a few scratches on the inside here, and that all came from shipping. That's not Grilla Grill's fault. However, their customer service has been awesome thus far, and they've offered me compensation for it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this grill. But let's get our prime rib or rib roast on the grill. Now you may be noticing me putting it in here without without it running. I don't want it hot to start. I want this thing to take on as much smoke as humanly possible. And a lot of the smoke when cooking in a pellet grill comes in its initial warm up phase. So I'm just gonna take my 
temperature probe here. I'm gonna stick it right down in the center of the rest. Let's close the lid and get the smoker started. All right, so now you see this thing is really billowing out smoke. That's exactly what we want. It's still at 90 degrees. Um, and as it climbs in temperature, eventually the smoke is gonna start to dissipate. And this is the initial smoke that I really, really want to permeate the meat. Uh, once it reaches 120 degrees, we're gonna crank temperature up in this thing and we're gonna allow it to roll until it hits about 130 degrees, at which point we'll take it out and we'll give it a rest. And then we'll slice in and see what we got for Easter dinner. All right, so here we are. One hour and 45 minutes. The temperature of the cooker is at 235, despite me setting it at 225. And that's part of that 10 degree fluctuation uh, that gives us more smoke. The internal temp of the roast is now at 85 degrees. Let's take a look. That's what I want to see. Now, earlier I said that I was going to cook it up to 135 degrees. I was mistaken. So again, I am going to take this to an internal temp of 120. I'm going to crank the heat up to about 450, and then I'm going to take it to about 128 to 130, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, and then when I rest it, its final resting temp should be at or around 137 to 140. Now when it comes to roast, I much rather prefer having it at the bottom end of medium and a little just above medium rare. I don't know what it is, but I, I feel like the texture is just that much different. It's that time. It's officially at 131 degrees. Just gonna let this thing rest for about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna tent it in foil. Just lightly, not real, not real tight. Just enough to moisten up the exterior. All right, here we are rested. Let's take off the butcher's twine. Goodness gracious. All right, let's see here. I don't even think they made an incision on here. So, let me just make the cut for the butcher. I, I don't know what he thought was thinking. Let's see what we got here. All right, that looks decent to me. Let's make the first cut. Here, just down the side. That looks incredible, medium to me. I'm just gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna give this a taste. Uh, I like the exterior. I wanna see what the flavor is gonna be like. Let's give this a try. Can I have more? Let's cut the... Cat meat off here a little bit. I want more, I want more. Jeez, okay, watch your fingers. This knife is, no. I thought you said Hey, cats. what are you doing? No. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you want more? All right, a little bit of the cap meat. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. Man, I'll tell you what. That's pretty doggone good. Let me try it with a little au jus. Huh. <laughs> wow. That's like a hundred times better. Mm. I want more. I want more. Give me more. <laughs> Watch your fingers. What is that? It's Ashu. Mmm. 
What do you think about it with the zoo? Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Why do we keep coming here? Because we want more. Because it's good? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Sauce is the boss. <laughs> so you already know with kids, when it comes to them, if it's good, they let you know. And if it's awful, they let you know too. Obviously, this one's a winner. Wow. So juicy, so tender, worth doing. And I definitely can't wait to do this again. All right, so that's going to wrap this one up for me, folks. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And until next time, folks, from my kitchen to yours, Big Sticks out. <laughs> now I grew up down